I think about the miracles that happen every single day here. We save lives all the time. And in 125 years, I can't imagine the amount of souls that we've touched. The sisters came to Billings in 1898 at the request of Dr. Chapel and a Catholic priest who traveled to Leavenworth to ask the sisters if they wouldn't start a hospital in Billings. The mission is, was always early on to respond to needs and not only to care for the sick, but to care for children who were orphans and to start educating children who didn't have schools to go to. So they began really education, healthcare, and social services. When I think of those sisters, I think about bravery and an incredible fortitude and a strength that I don't know many people have in the world. We think about what that takes to build a hospital. It, it, it took the dedication of some very brave people, but it also took the commitment of a community in saying this is important to us, so important that we're willing to step behind it with our support, our advocacy, and our own financial support. Working at St. Vincent's has totally changed my life, actually. I came to Billings with the idea of saving lives, and, and that's where I was introduced in the values of the Sisters of Charity. And they came 125 years ago, and they came to serve a population who needed health care. You know, they're St. Vincent. They're, they're right there, front and forward. If you've got something going on that you're going to make an appointment here and be seen by one of the fine physicians that are over there, that you're going to get the best, absolutely the best. I was thinking about the miracle of birth and all of the great things that we do, providing care to thousands of moms, 1,800, 1,900, 2,100 moms a year and how beautiful that is to bring somebody into this world. It's just remarkable. You think about the lives that will start here, the lives that will be saved here, the lives that will get longer here. That's a pretty inspiring thing. This place is unlike anywhere else I've ever been in terms of people here truly care about not just the people they work with, but the community that we serve. And that goes beyond whatever physical ailment might have brought somebody to the hospital today and goes into What's really holding them back from living the most healthy life that they could possibly live? We're looking at a new hospital and how we can better meet the needs of the people in this, not only this community, but the geographic area that we serve. The technologies that have exploded over time and provided things that we could never even imagine 40 years ago, let alone 125 years ago, are demonstrated. It's amazingly powerful. I can't believe the technologies that are going to be brought to Billings and the needs that are going to be met in Billings. How do we get upstream and, and really help people live a life where maybe they never actually have to use a hospital, right? And I, I think about the technology, the technique, the, the wonderful dedication to learning what's next that our caregivers have. And that to me is how we're going to solve problems. And I'm, I'm excited to be a part of that. And to have a healthcare asset like what we have here at St. Vincent and the impact that it has had on so many lives, it's really a special and sacred thing. And I think to me, that's the legacy. Leaving a legacy is really all we have. And when I think about the next 125 years here at St. Vincent and the position I'm in to be a part of the legacy that we're continuing to make, becoming a level one trauma center, taking care of large numbers of patients, that's setting up the next 100 years to be more successful than the last. Well, I am absolutely confident that this mission will continue at St. Vincent Healthcare. By who they are, I see, I see the wonderful care that people are giving. We are doing amazing things every day. So we will care for people with the same heart, the same mission, vision, and values that we have for 125 years. And that's what makes us special. As we've evolved through 125 years, that community partnership is more vibrant than it's ever been before. We know that we can't do this alone. This has to be something that we do together. If we treat healthcare that way, we're always gonna be successful. Not everybody can be an angel. You can be a saint in this room, but to be an angel, you gotta step up. And you can be an angel from afar just by your generosity.